Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll get started with introduction to integration. We'll see the basic difference between integration and differentiation. And I'll use some couple of examples to see how to use a formula to perform simple integration. That said, let's get into class. Now, from basic calculus, we know that calculus is divided into two. Differentiation. and integration. We have dealt with differentiation and we have some couple of lessons on differentiation. If you miss our lessons on differentiation, it's not hesitate to check the description below. I'll place links to that lesson. But today we'll be concentrating on integration. That integration is actually the opposite of differentiation. Now, our formula for differentiation says that y is equal to ax raised to power n the differential of y dy dx will be the same thing as ax nx sorry nx raised to power n minus 1 so that if we have our dy dx to be equals to nx raised to power n minus 1 and integration is the reverse of differentiation that means where we have subtraction we will have in place of subtraction we will have addition and where we had multiplication we will have division now let's do it so that to integrate the y dx i'll bring an integral sign here telling me i'm integrating then i'll be integrating the y now it will be the same thing as a n x minus 1 dx so that integrating dy this obviously becomes y will be equals to a n x here i have n minus 1 to become n minus 1 plus 1 because where i have multiplication remember by our principle i will have addition and where sorry where i have subtraction i will have addition and where i did multiplication for multiplication, we brought n, which is a coefficient here, to multiply. So this time around, we're bringing the coefficient here again. Now divide. So it will become n minus 1 plus 1. So that's y now will be the same thing as minus 1 plus 1 here. Obviously, that's 0. I'll be left with n. Minus 1 plus 1 here again is 0. I'll be left with n. Now look at this. We we'll now have a n x raised to power n over n. n here is 1 n here is 1 so obviously back to a x raised to power n so we can see that integration is actually the reverse of differentiation and from here i can authoritatively draw my conclusion that if y is equal to x raised to power n for me to integrate or or rather if dy is equal to x raised to power n now for me to integrate i'll be integrating to say that my y now will be the same thing as x raised to power n plus one over n plus 1. But this time around, we introduce a constant plus c. c is a constant. Shortly, I'll explain why we have the constant c. And in subsequent class, we'll see how to treat the constant c. We'll see this if y also is equals to x raised to power n. Remember that our dy dx is equals to a x a n x raised to power n minus 1. Let's take an example. Let's take an example. We'll differentiate this example. Let me clear my workspace. Let me clear my workspace. I, I want to have a neat workspace. Now, why? Let's take this example. If y is equals to x raised to power 5 plus 1. Now, if we are to differentiate this example, remember that 
if y is equal to ax raised to the power n for dy dx will be the same thing as ax raised to the power n minus 1. axn, sorry, there's an n here. So that for this example, where y is equal to x raised to the power 5 plus 1, my dy dx is the same thing as my a here, obviously, is 1. That will be 1 into 5, x raised to the power 5 minus 1. Plus, my constant here is 1. But we assume that it has an x raised to the power 0. x raised to the power 0 is 1 times 1. That's still 1. So that x raised to the power 0, 0 times 1 becomes 0. And everything here becomes what? 0. So that this is plus what? 0. So that my dy dx will be the same thing as 5x raised to the power 4. Now let's integrate this particular sum. For me to integrate here, I'll, be, I'll say I'll, I'll have my integral and my integral so that I'll be integrating dy dx equals to the integral of 5x raised to the power 4. Look at it this way. This brings me to the integral of dy equals the integral of 5x raised to the power 4 dx. From my formula, my integral of n, if y is equal to the integral of x raised to the power n dx, this is the same thing as x raised to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So that y now will be equals to the integral of 5x raised to the power 4 dx. That's the same thing as 5x raised to the power 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. Now that is equals to 5 raised to power, 5x raised to the power 5 over 5. 5 here is 1, 5 here is 1 plus c. So that my y obviously is the same thing as x raised to the power 5 plus c. Where c is actually a constant. Now, if you look at it this way, I have c to be a constant and my original sum I have x plus 5 plus 1. Remember that this one will always integrate to what? 0. What is differentiate to 0? For example, if y is equal to x raised to the power 5 plus 1, and y is equal to x raised to the power 5 plus 100, both of them on differentiating it, dy dx give me 5x raised to the power 4. So that whatever value I have here, I take care of my constant c. With this, I hope you understand how to perform simple integration. And let's listen to see how to deal with constants. If you stay with us for this long, please hit the subscribe button 